Hi everyone. Now we will learn how we can apply validation on reactive forms in Angular. So first of all we have to define the validation and here we will apply three kind of validation. First one is required, then minimum character validation and third one is email validation. And after defining the validations then we have to make uh, some getter methods and then we will define validation messages as well as error messages. We have to add some style and at last we will discuss some important interview question. This is the playlist for Angular 19 tutorial that will definitely help you out for Angular job project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. Okay, and in last part we create a, a reactive form uh, with the form grouping. So I will use that form only because if I'll start from scratch then that video will be a little bit lengthy and even we already done this code in the previous part. So better we can continue from there only. And if you haven't watched the previous part, you can get the video link from description box, box as well as from the playlist. All right. So now let's define the validations. So for that, you have to go to the app.component.ts file. And uh, there you can see that we have created a form group. And inside the form group, we have three form controls for name, password and email. And these are the three fields, right? So to apply the validation, what you need to do? Uh, in the second parameter of form control, you have to put an array and inside this let's use validator and this validator you have to import from the uh, angular forms here you can see that and then you can uh, provide the whatever validation you want to uh, apply. So you can put the dot required because I just want to make uh, name is required. And I'm removing the default values also because the default, if you just give the default values, then there is so no point to define the validations. All right. So in the second one, uh, I will give the two validation. Uh, first one is it should be required dot required. And uh, second one uh, should be the minimum character length. So I want that password password should be uh, more than five uh, characters. So I will just use their validation validator dot minimum length and you can give any value 10 5 20 whatever you want to give so i'll just give there 5 and in the last one for email i'll go give the two validation again even here we will provide the three validation first one for required second one for minimum or maximum character and last one for two uh, rejects to validate the email is it the correct or uh, valid email or not right but that will i'll do in some time because that is the uh, rejects part so first i will give the this validation uh, basic validation thing then we will apply that right but that will do in this part only okay so now for last one just provide the validator dot required then validator dot uh, you can say that max length so let me give the max length uh, 30 for now because i just want to check the validation and third one will will apply in some time okay so after do, uh, doing that still everything is working fine but i don't need uh, these you can say that uh, set values so i'm removing this and as well as from the html file i don't need these three uh, values and this set button so i'm removing that one also so now you can see that this is a very simple form no issue at all Okay, so after defining the validation, then we have to uh, make the getter method and why this getter method is required, you will get to know in a moment. But let me define there get name. This is the method getter method. And here we will return this dot uh, profile form. This is the group. And then you can see that get and name, right? So whenever we will apply the validation on the UI, then either you can use now this small function name, right, getter name, otherwise you can use this long name. So this long name we cannot use every time because every time we have to use this dot profile dot get name, it will be so long. So better we can just use their name, right. And similarly, uh, we have to define two more getters for email and for password. Let me give their email and password. All right. So if you want, you can format it. Okay. The next thing that we need to do, you have to go to the uh, HTML file and there you have to do, you have to uh, make two things. First one is 
validation message second one is the error message validation message will tell like what kind of validation is applied on this field error message will tell that you enter the wrong uh, input there all right okay so for that what you can do uh, you can just take a span like this and uh, then uh, you, yeah one more thing you need a uh, what do you say ng if also because there we have to put some conditions just ng if you have to import and now here uh, you can give the validation message and that could be let's say this is required field or something right then uh, there uh, we can check star ng if like this and then we can check there if name we have to put a question mark so that we can check if name should not be undefined then has error if there is some error and what type of error we want to check there required uh, here it is right so you can just give like this right so if uh, this field is required then this will be visible and here you can see that right because we didn't apply on this so now the same thing you can apply with the all other fields also let me do with the password and last one with the email also but there you have to check uh, password with the if condition and email with the if condition for email field right and now all are visible so let's say i'm just coming back there and if i remove this validation right then you will see this is also removed from there right so better uh, uh, you can keep it required if they are required and then this will be visible okay the next thing is uh, we have to show error messages also right so then but when they should be visible if user try to enter there something and then just move back or if something entered and then just uh, remove the value that time we can uh, display this right and for that again we have to put a condition there and again take a span like this and they are just use a uh, star ng if and inside this you can check one condition name dot invalid if name is invalid and then uh, name is dirty that means value is not correct or name dot touched if you just just uh, focused on there and then uh, move back right then it should be uh, the error should be there and error should be like uh, please enter valid input right and you can keep their question marks also if you want that is just for condition right now uh object is possibly null in line number six okay yeah we have to give the question mark there also now this is fine but if i just move back now we can see that there is some error right please enter the value and if i just enter the anything then the both thing will be gone if i remove it then both thing are there and if i just refresh by default this field is required again again if i just touch it and i just uh, do the focus out then this is there this is the this is the validation message and this is the error message so error message we can make in the red color so what i'll do there uh, i will just put a class error and uh, with there dot error i'll give a red color color is red and now this is more better now according to the your style and html element placement you can show this message to the top or left or right however you want to show and if you want even you can just show the star also so let's say you just want to show the star to display that this is a uh, important right here is a star and now this will also work however you want to uh, make it okay then next thing is same error we have to apply on the password also right but there keep in mind the name should be replaced with the password password one password two and password last yeah and same things goes to the email also email email 
and email so now from the every required field you can see that and if i just enter uh, let's say if even i just enter the anil siddhu this is the password perfect but if this is less than five character then again i'll see the error right and in the email we put the validation of uh, maximum 30 characters let me show you here you can see that so let's try it with the 30 characters it's so long so i'll just put some render things and here you can see that after 30 we are getting the error message there yep right okay so now the last thing let's give a uh, so let's say just use uh, put some some value it seems email is valid but is it a valid email no so it should be something like this anil at the rate test test.com right but if user just put uh, at the rate test again by mistake or maybe uh, intentionally then there should be an error message right so what we can do that uh, let's search a regex for this and uh, you can put there email validation regex pattern for angular so let's go to the second one and let's see if there is some yeah here is we have a pattern for email so what we can do there come back and uh, just put a comma use a validator dot pattern and inside this pattern simply use uh, this regex as a string right and now if i just come there and put a anil this is not a valid email right and better if you can put their valid email valid password valid name that is more authentic seems right so if i just put their anil this is not a valid email we know that but if i just put the test dot com this is a valid and again if i just put the at the rate again we know that uh, in one email id there can, cannot be two at the rate right so this is a perfect email uh, even we don't we know that we cannot put the uh, these special characters in email right so this is how we can apply the apply the basic validation with the reactive form if you have any doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, like this video and share your feedback in the comment section this is my ptm and uh, donation number gpay donation number thanks everyone